What is up, everybody? It's your boy Galaxy Gaming here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a tier list on every single Chapter 2 Fortnite season, since Chapter 3 is about to come out at the end of Chapter 2 Season 8, and the event that is coming out at the very, in 9 days, I believe, which will be streaming that. So make sure you follow up by YouTube as you are. Make sure you subscribe. And so, yeah, pretty much I'm going to be ranking all these from Chapter 1, all, I mean Chapter 2 Season 1, all the way to Chapter 8. And so, I'm making this video for now on Chapter 2. I might make Chapter 1. If you guys want that, let me know. And, yeah, so, I have a montage coming out soon. And so, yeah, this is kind of a placeholder video because I did say I'm back and haven't uploaded in, like, a week. So, yeah, this is my placeholder video. And so, yeah, so the tiers are, we have the GOAT season, which that was the best season. All of them, you know, I only one will go there. I know exactly which one that is. Really fun. We'll go here because there's a lot. There's some pretty good seasons. Then you have the average, pretty much good season. Eh, wasn't good, wasn't bad. Then you got the kind of boring, you know, lack of updates, you know. But it wasn't a bad season. Almost trash, which has one reason or something like that to keep it from trash. And then we have Dumpster Fire, which was horrible. I hated this season. Almost deleted my game in the season. And so, yeah. We're going to get straight into it here. I have every single season pulled up so I can show the pictures. And so, yeah, starting off, we have Fortnite, the very first season. And with this season, you have the brand new map and everything. Everybody was like, yes, we're finally getting a brand new map. And then it hit us, and we're like, dang, we really missed the old map. Which, comment down below, which one do you think? We're getting a new map, or are we getting a the old map back? I'm thinking we're getting the old map back, but I would love a new map. Apart from that, this is what the map looks like. It had some pretty good drops, such as, like, what was this called? I forgot. Slurpy Swamp, and then, you know, Lazy Lake was the two big ones. Now everybody just drops Holly or Pleasant. No one really drops anywhere else. I gotta say, whatever this place was, I forgot what it's called. I think it's Frenzy Farm that season. It was pretty good. And, yeah, that's about it with this season. They didn't update the game at all. And there really wasn't no new weapons that I remember. I'm pretty sure it was just, like, the normal Fortnite weapons. The intro was sick, how you just automatically dropped into a game and got the umbrella. Unless you choked the game, like me, who was playing around memeing, trying to figure out the whole map. But, yeah, apart from that, there is... I'd say it's a solid season, but... Lack of updates, it got kind of boring, so that's where it's going to be. The Battle Pass was good, was okay. Let's see, who was in the Battle Pass? I don't know if it's going to show it. Like, they added fishing, that was a good mechanic. They added, like, carrying people, but all that should have been happening later on in the season and not the very beginning. Like, there's a lot of content, but just, it just, you know, it wasn't that great. So, let's see, I'm going to try to pull up the Battle Pass picture. Real quick. And if you guys are wondering why I'm misspelling this, it's because my mic is sitting in between my keyboard. Okay, so I don't really have a pick. Oh, yeah, here's all the skins in the Battle Pass. It was cool because you could have the extra style, but you had to do challenges. I didn't do any of these challenges except for the 8-ball because the 8-ball is the best skin in the Battle Pass. The Tier 100 skin, don't care what anybody says. One of... My least favorite, like, I hate this skin. It is worse than the girl skin from Season 8. Should not have been a 200 skin. If if any of these should have been, it should have been 8-Ball. Because that was the best skin in this whole Battle Pass. That skin was pretty good. I forgot her name. That skin was, eh. I think her name was Cameo, maybe. My boy right here, Sludge, I believe is his name. And then these are just, eh. I did main that skin for like a month and a half. Take that as you will. But yeah, so that's chapter that's chapter two, season one, and on to Fortnite season two. This, in my opinion, the best season that we've had in this chapter two. Because for one, we have Agent Peely. That if that doesn't seal you, I don't know what was. But they introduced this style of skin as Maya, and they had me out schools. I forgot about him. They introduced Maya. You could customize her any way you wanted to, make it unique. You could either do a full camo pattern, 
or you could just do whatever you wanted, like a full pattern of like winter camo or something like that, or you could just customize her any way, different hairstyle, so you have it unique to yourself. I might get a screenshot of mine and edit it into this video if I remember, if I don't, whatever. But yeah, so and you could choose if you wanted to be on Team Shadow or if you wanted to be on Team Scratch. And this is sort of the way the 8-Ball was. And for some reason, I'm thinking that was Season 2 now. But it, I don't know. I don't think it was. But I this is the one skin I used that whole season. So, yeah, take that as you will. And you could get gold skins. So, if you love them all the way up, you could get gold skins. I think I got everyone gold up until Tina. And I got her halfway. It was pretty good. Skies, everything. Like, here's what the map looked like. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's the Chapter 2 map. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, okay, so here's the Grotto. That had Brutus's Mythic Minigun. Favorite weapon in the game is a minigun. OP. The rig was okay. Had the Boombo. We had Drum Gun Spot, which was literally new tilted. Everybody would drop there for that Drum Gun. The Shark, which was my second favorite spot. The Grotto was my first. You could get an Unlimited Grappler and that Scar, which was better than a Shotgun. Like, that Scar would beam. It was underrated. And then the Yacht, which had dual pistols that no one liked except me because I'm a dual pistol simp. And so, yeah. But that was a pretty good season. That was the best season because, I mean, there is a buff cat. What can you not say about the buff cat? But here's some of the shadows for all of them. And then, I mean, that's ghosts, I think. I don't have a... There's the shadow ones. I got shadow her. I got ghost meow schools, I think. Shadow... Did I get sh I might I don't know which one I got. I got shadow Midas. If you got ghost Midas... I don't know what I can say about you, man. Unless you were just trying to roleplay. And in that case, I respect you. I got Ghost Brutus. Regret it because the other Brutus looks better. And then, of course, they gave us both Peelies because they had to. And then Maya, take it as you will. So after Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, we add Chapter 2, Season 3. And this season, I don't know where I'm going to rank it yet. I'm going to talk about it and then I'm going to rank it because... This was the first time I think I honestly quit playing this game because it got so frustrated with it. But I don't think that was Fortnite's fault. I think it was just the Marauders itself. Marauders, worst thing they could have added. Never should have had that in the game in the first place. They changed their battle pass just like Season 2, the loading screen. It's pretty fire. They added customizable umbrellas so you could change it any way you wanted and make it unique. They quit really doing stuff like that. They should have added like customizable pickaxes, more skins. It would have been cool. Apart from that, here's pretty much the Battle Pass skins. They had Kit, best Battle Pass skin they've released. They've had Eternal Knight, which I've been asking for a Black Knight style, like, color scheme for Red Knight. And they kind of gave it to me. Like, I was talking about this for, like, weeks before the season came out, and they gave it to me. And then I was like, I hope we get Aquaman because of the Trident. Give that to me, too. So there's two things I like. This skin was just a knockoff drift, let's be real here. That skin I mained for a little bit. I hate this skin. Horrible skin. But yeah, apart from that, that skin's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not a big DC fan. I'm a big Marvel fan. So, Aquaman was pretty cool. Apart from that, the whole map was flooded. So, this was kind of annoying. Unless you go to the Fort Tiller. That was a pretty fire spot. But the rest of the map was kind of annoying. But once it started to fill up... I think... Is this the one? Yeah. Okay, so you have... I forgot what this one was called. It wasn't the Agency. It was something else. Authority. The Authority. And then you had the Fortilla and all that stuff. It was pretty good. And then we had Aquaman's Land. That was pretty bad. Or that place over here was really bad. But the Fortilla was really good. Just like you had the Mythic Chug Jug and the Aug. Chug Jug was fire. Shout out to Laser Beam. Um, I'm trying to think what else we had. We had Caddy Corner. My second favorite shot. Well, third favorite shotgun. The Charge. And the Shockwave. That was the best Mythics they've added. Because you could launch up and just charge somebody. That's why this season is a pretty fire season. Apart from that, you had another drum gun and the grapple. The grapple was good, but the drum gun was really weak. Um, I think I'm. I think that was it. Yeah, there's six because they're affinity songs. But so yeah, it was a pretty decent season. I'm gonna say it was pretty good. It was fun, except Marauders. I would have put it here, but Marauders just ruined the season because you already having to sweat out fight normal people and then you have marauders just bum rushing you you know what? i'll give it 
I'm gonna put a good season for now. Like honestly, it was a pretty good season to be honest with you. But yeah, it might could change. But so yeah, and then we had this Scuba John suit that was pretty cool. And the chapter four. Boy, am I a Marvel simp, but I am about to get so controversial on this season. This was the first get season, chapter two, that I deleted Fortnite. Because it was so frustrating playing a game and then just dying to a mythic that just spammed you. Now, yes, you could play Arena, but at this time, I wasn't, I didn't have time to go sit on this game and sweat in Arena to play now, I did kind of play every now and then on my Xbox, because my friend's Xbox in here can kill the cut. Shout out to him. I used to play on, like, he'd ask me to finish a game out every now and then. i play it. It's pretty good. But, apart from that, the Battle Pass was sick. I wish I had Mystique, because that was sick, how you could just emote and turn into anybody. And then Dooms was cool. I do have these two, I believe. I don't know if I have Groot or not. I have definitely have Thor on my other account. But, yeah, it was a really good season. Wolverine was the hidden character. Well, it wasn't good. Let me phrase it. It was decent. The Mythics were cool because you kept getting updates and updates and updates. And that's what we want. That is what we want, Epic. Updates, updates, updates. That's what we want. And then we got... I'm trying to find... I'll find a picture of the map in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about the end event with Galactus... That really ticked me off because it was like, oh, they're going to destroy the map and we're going to get a brand new season. And then they didn't. It was like Galactus ate us, it blew up, and we went into a black hole, but we just got the same map back. Didn't really make sense, but the event itself was really sick. That ACDC, I believe, is what that was playing. I don't really remember, but ACDC came to my head. But that was a really, really good season. I mean, not good season, but good event. Is this the map? No, that ain't the map. Okay, uh, let's go to the map. And so here's the map. One of these is the map. You had this Tony Stark area when that update came in with his mythic. And you could get combats. Combats were fun. You had Doom's Domain, which is just Pleasant Park with Doom's House. That was eh. His mythics were fun, though. Tony Stark's mythics was like the charge rifle on steroids. We had the... What else was here? We did have a Black Panther memorial somewhere. We had Ant-Man's over here. Not a memorial, but just an Ant-Man place. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't really know right now. Let's see. We had Doom's Mythics. We had Iron Man's Mythics. You could hack the robots and to follow you. That was pretty cool. And, yeah. I know you could get Groot's Ball out of drops. You could get Thor's Hammer out of drops. And you could get something else. Storm's thing you could fly up. Apart from that, and Wolverine's claws. Wolverine was so hard to kill. He was in like Welling Woods, and dude, I remember trying to get that exclusive on my uh, Cuts's account. That was so hard. But yeah, apart from that, I don't think She Hulk had anything. I might be wrong. And yeah. But you could get these like cool reflect skins, kind of. As you can see, like this reflect Doom. Well, that was a statue, but you could hack these robots. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. But you could get like these cool reflective skins. That's like silver and stuff. But yeah, it was a pretty good season. Decent season. Wasn't great. Just the... Uh, ranking it, I would say... Eh. Had a lot of updates, but... Mythics, that... I mean, they're cool and all, but... They really take... The competitiveness out of Fortnite. Because you could just have a Mythic... And one shot somebody and like them lose the game when you could just go and I know season two and mythics, but like they're kind of balanced. Like you could still kill the person with Tony Starks, you could just shoot their whole building at one shot them, and it's just that. Eh. Going on to another amazing season was Fortnite season five. The sand where you could literally turn yourself into sand and travel is so amazing. No one knew we needed this, but we did. You don't know how many games I won in the final circle by by just... I got beamed, so I'd hop in the sand and then just run around. The only bad part I have to say about the season is the Predator. That man would go invisible. And the very first day, if you try to get this man on the first day, everybody wanted him and you could never do it. But if you did it like three days after, it was so easy. 
They had the Mandalorian collab, which was huge for Fortnite. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but Baby Yoda is pretty fire. Never used it, though, but it was pretty fire to have. I have every style for Mandalorian. Just never going to use it. Let's see. Coliseum, one of my... Between this and the Grotto, I don't know. This is probably my favorite drop spot. Because me, you already know, the Lee Boy over here, and the Goon, the one clan when it was there, dropped here every single game. Speaking of Chapter 2, Season 2, though, that was when the, the one clan came. Sad to see it disband, but that was when it happened, and that was a really, really fun season. But apart from that, that was Fly You and Man Cakes. That was a fire skin. The tier 100 skin I've never used. Because honestly, I don't think it's that great. It wasn't the worst. It's probably about the third. Anime girl skin I never used. Never used her. Never use. I did use Reese once. But I used Condor. Condor is fire. Don't care what anybody says. That is a banging skin. Where is it at? And uh, the story to the season. That's the other style for Condor, but... I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. If you don't know what that is, then that's not my problem. Condor was like a black skin. If I have a picture, I'll put it up there. It was black with like some red outlines. It was really sick. And so, yeah. Pretty much what Fresh uses, but the green version is what Fresh uses. And, yeah, it was really good. I'm trying to think. What was the lock skin of the season? I feel like it was Storyline, but it might not have been. Let's see. Oh, it was Predator. I've already talked about Predator. Okay, I forgot about that. But yeah, you could get these Sapphire styles. There's Condor, but it's dark. But that's about it. That was about it for that season. It was pretty fun. I'm trying to think they added any new weapons. They added Exotics. I'm pretty sure this was the first season with Exotics, like the dub and stuff like that. That was fun, but apart from that, there's really a lot of updates. Like, it would update this game weekly, I believe. And yeah, that was fun. I don't. Was there an event in this season? Let's see, was there an event? I completely forgot. This is a long time ago. Oh, yeah, so this is the one where you could go in the beginning of season six and stuff. And the cube exploded. Okay, so the, yeah, I remember this. Okay, because it was a cube crack. The storyline was pretty good. So I'm going to rank season five. I want to say it's goat season, even though it is right up there. But I'm only going to put one there. I'm going to put it at really fun. Because that's like pretty much the same thing, but this is the best season. So take that as you will. Fortnite, chapter two, season six. Only good thing about the about Laura Croft, you can you can take that as you will. If you like Laura Croft, you'll like that. The secret skin was good. I just didn't get it because I hated going up there to try to get her like thing and take it to the middle spire to get her mythic primal shotgun, which was OP. It was like the drum shotgun on steroid. We'll get the primal in a second. The chicken skin's okay. This John Z skin was pretty good. That skin was hot trash. Literally probably the worst battle pass skin I've ever seen in my life. Raven, Teen Titans Go was one of the best series. Love that skin. That literally, and the glider. The literal reason I bought this whole battle pass, well I didn't get tier 100. What was tier 100 skin? Maybe it was that. Maybe that was the tier 100 skin. I don't remember what the lock skin was, but, uh, let me see, what was the lock skin? Neymar, yeah, Neymar is my favorite soccer player, and I didn't even get his skin, because I deleted the game. But, the, I forgot what I was going on about, oh yeah, her mythic, you'd have to get the primal shotgun and everything, and that was pretty it was pretty bad. But the only good thing about the season was they added bows. And the shockwave bow didn't really... It wasn't good for, like, combat. I mean, unless you trick shot somebody. You can. But otherwise, it was pretty good. The promo shotgun was really OP. The AR sucked. The SMG sucked. The pistol... Everything primal sucked except the shotgun. And it was too OP. You could literally be 100 to 100, miss all your shots, and dude was just going to one-shot you with the shotgun. It's that good. 
Um, apart from that, it was pretty cool how you have to get like grenades and stuff to craft the different type of bows and craft different weapons. But apart from that, yeah, this is all the weapons they added. These boots that you would get from the Mythics to make you run was horrible. You, you had to do too much for the boots. The parts and the crafting stuff was cool. Hunter's Cloak was trash. These two bows were fire. The rest of it sucked. Like, all these craft weapons were trash. Every one up here except this bow, this bow, and this shotgun was OP, so I call it trash. And this bow was pretty good. But the rest of the stuff sucked. And I really don't have too much good things to say, except... I did, however, three. I launched a kid in the storm and won a game only using this bow. So that was pretty fun. But apart from that, I got that video on YouTube at the beginning of the season. That's really all I played. And honestly, just because of the shockwave bows, that was almost trash. Because I did delete the game. Only thing saving it is the bows. Don't know where that cut off because I had to cut my recording. But. On to Fortnite, Chapter 2, Season 7. This was when I got my PC. And that is the sole reason. Well, no. Rick and Morty. I got them Rick skin. Apart from that, that is the only reason I got this back. And honestly, I kept it. The only reason I kept it is because I got a PC to play online games. And Fortnite is my favorite Battle Royale game. So, that is the only reason I kept this game. But, apart from that, the season wasn't all that great. Like, really no map changes at all. They just simply removed the sand. And I forgot to get into map changes for Season 6. Those are pretty good. But, it's whatever now. I literally just... Fix the map. I said, here you go. They added these operation booths and this big thing in the middle. But apart from that, they just fixed the map, deleted everything down here, made Slurpy Swamp grow out, and said, bam, there you go. And there was literally no map changes, pretty much, as far as I remember. Yeah. That should have happened. But, uh... Apart from that, the only thing they really had different was the alien weapons, such as the charge shotgun, I mean, sniper, not shot, sniper, the uh, charge, sh yeah, sniper. It would shoot your walls, and it was okay. This uh, alien gun had limited ammo, but it so <coughs> less damage, and it was pretty bad. But... Yeah, the only thing I can really say was this skin right here, you could customize it any way you wanted, and it's pretty cool. Because you don't have to select this certain style. Like, you could change it any way you want. And then you have the gold skins, the silver skins, for extra stuff after you level get level 100. The Superman collab, which you're getting if you like DC, there you go. And so, yeah, we're getting to the battle pass. We have Rick as tier 100. One of the best tier 100 skins. I guess give it to Midas. I think he is the best tier 100 skin for chapter 2. Rick is a close second. And from what I remember, Carnage is my third favorite. Yes, I know I'm biased, don't I? But Zig was a good skin. Just a little too big, but not too bad. This was my favorite skin from this whole season. I made the Sunny Beach style. Uh, okay, unless you're a DC fan. Did not like the skin. Just something about the pants. Just didn't like the skin. The other, the uh, agent style ain't bad. Good skin. Okay skin. Never going to use this skin. Because that transformed into that. And I just, not not about that. Apart from that, it's pretty good. You have Rick's UFO and everything, you know, about Rick and Morty. You even had the Rick dance. That was pretty cool. And then I got into the map and the alien stuff. I'm just going to say. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's one thing about this season that I'm about to make a big move on. They had this thing where you could go and get abducted by one of them giant floating UFOs. Go into this mini game, launch people off into barriers and kill them and get time. 
and then collect gold. And you could start off your game with all golden loot. So as far as from that, I gotta say that was too OP. And so I'm gonna say it was a dumpster fire. Because they give us updates, but it wasn't weekly. Like, they were moved. They removed the UFOs and added them back next week. That's not content. That's just them keep adding it. That is the worst season. Now, coming from that sick lava event that they brought the cubes back, they pretty much took Chapter 2, I mean Chapter 1, Season 6, copied it, but changed the answers and submitted it to their teacher. We'll get into that in a second. Fire skin. This you could turn into literally 15 different styles. Like, let me look up. Tune. Tuna fish. You can see you get all these bottles. Change every style you want. Make it different colors. And then you could get styles such as like John Z. You know, Love Ranger. I don't know if I can find a picture of it. Stuff like that. Aim style. Fish stick style. But yeah, I have so much paint for this, so that leads me to think next season there's going to be another paint style because I have so many. Like I can, if even even if I unlock stuff, I still won't get paint. I just don't want to do my challenges. So, I, yeah. So see, these are fifteen a piece or ten a piece. Then I have like five hundred and some, and I only need four more. So take that as you will. But apart from that, that was a really good skin. This skin was okay. I haven't used it yet, so I can't really judge it. Fire, because it is a chimp in an astronaut costume. I don't know what you want more. That's fire. That's pretty good. Except it reminds me of a certain person who I do not like and made a song with dudes in the shower. Is all I'm saying. Then we have this skin. I don't remember her name, but she was okay. I still haven't used her yet. But then they added Naruto. That was pretty cool. I don't think any of these other skins were added, but they did add Naruto, so that's pretty funny. But apart from them adding Naruto to the game, I'm trying. I don't really remember what collabs they had because I really didn't. Get, I got to play a lot at the beginning of the season. I mean, towards the end, I haven't really got to play at the beginning. But yeah. So on to the storyline. Pretty much a cube. Got blown up in the middle of the map. And then the secret skin, the cube queen, made a giant pyramid and all this. And she's going to destroy the map. And so that's why mechs were unvaulted. Boo. Shopping carts were unvaulted. ATVs are unvaulted. Not ATVs. Quad crashers are unvaulted. Not quad crashers, bro. Golf carts. They brought back combats. I don't think there's any mythics in the game. There's turrets. And so, yeah. If I left everything out, my bad. But you can hop in these sideways rifts. Fight zombies, get cube parts, and upgrade weapons to mythics. Yes, I know, but there's not like a character you can get and get a mythic. Like, you see when somebody is in one of these bubbles. Like, you'll see it on your map. It'll pop up. And, like, you can look on your map, and there'll be like a big bubble thing right here. So, you could tell if someone's trying to get it. And it takes a while to get a mythic, so that's why I say there's no mythics. But apart from that, you could get sideways weapons, such as a sideways minigun, which is just a minigun that charges up with bloom. And then you could have, like, a sideways rifle, which I've never used because it's pretty bad. I used it one time and stopped using it. And then sideways scythes, which are horrible. And sideways chests. So apart from that, that's all I can really think about. Um, I haven't, I can't judge it all the way because of the event. The event's going to take us to a new map, Black Holes in the Files, you know, or an old map. But just because I have one extra, I'm going to say it has been a really fun season. Like I've, I've enjoyed this. I ain't going to put it in goat season because there's only one goat season. But honestly, my opinion, 
these two are almost neck and neck. And honestly, I'm going to say the cube season is better than this. So, this is my ranking. I have Fortnite Invasion Season 7, trash, like dumpster fire. Almost trash for Season 6. Like, honestly, that could go there too. But that's one reason that it's not there, and that's because of bows. And I forgot to show this off. I know what I was looking up. This is the only reason I kept this I bought the battle pass all the way on like three days up till this tier is because I have a galaxy skin and this is a fire glider. But yeah, apart from that, that is another reason that's almost trash. Kind of boring. This season never had any updates. This season was just too much mythics. This season was pretty fun, just too much water, which is kind of the point. And then lack of updates. And they're really fun with these seasons because just the updates, 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 and just constant changes. I mean, you could say there's no updates in this season, but there was too much content at the beginning that would last us literally all season. And season three was good too because it added cars. But apart from that, that's our tier list. So make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to see me do season one, I'll add it to this tier list. And so yeah. I'm going to try and have that montage aimed out. By next weekend hopefully. I might drop it on. I'll try to get it about done by next week. Hopefully. And. Make sure. I don't know what day it is. That the end happens. But I'm going to say. Let's see. I'm guessing a Wednesday. Let's see. What's nine days from now? Nine days would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so on a Monday. So on that date, I will live stream it on my YouTube. Hopefully. Make sure you follow my Twitter. Because that's where I'm going to be posting if I will. Right here. So make sure you follow this. And so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. GG.